you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting subscribing sharing my presentations and listening to this very one today the focus will be on prima queen note prima queen is for radical cure in malaria to prevent relapse remember erythrocytic stage will give us signs and symptoms but the hepatic stage the hepatic schizon or pre-erythrocytic stage will just be quiet there okay no signs no symptoms that is what prima queen will take care of to prevent relapse later on also very useful in hiv positive patient against hemocystic geroversy pneumonia provalences or formerly known as pneumocystic carine pneumonia it could come under different brand names like prima queen that is the generic name it could be prima seed malurid malafrid piquin prima queen canoprim or jazoprim it belongs to the class of medications known as 8 aminoquinoline that would be an anti-malaria agent also anti chemtocytes and anti azoerythrocytic stage or plasmodium that is hepatic stage is also anti pneumocystic geroversy or carine pneumonia in HIV positive patient or prophylaxis. It appears in form of tablet for per oral use. In that case, we can find primaquine phosphate that is generic as 26.3 mg per tablet. Administration could be given with food to reduce GRD offsets. Repeat dose if there is vomiting within 30 minutes of ingestion of the tablet. Uses malaria prophylaxis, malaria treatment. Also, the prophylaxis in HIV positive patients against pneumocystic carine pneumonia, old name, or pneumocystic geroversy pneumonia current name. Mechanism of action. It was on plasmodium vivans and plasmodium mobile. By what? By what mechanism? Okay, by killing the hepatic forms of the plasmodium before becoming erythrocytic form. So, preventing relapse. The likely relapse is then completely prevented. That is why we call it for radical kill of malaria. It also kills the gametocytes, thereby ending the possibility or probability of reproduction and production of the new forms. Dosing. 15 mg base is equivalent to 26.3 mg primaquine phosphate. Now for malaria prophylaxis, primaquine could be prescribed by order as 30 mg once daily dose okay we will start at two days before you board the flight or the cruise you continue taking prima queen 30 milligram once daily while you are abroad in the endemic zone you will stop taking this anti-malaria only after seven days upon return to your country of origin Pneumocystic geroversy or pneumocystic carine pneumonia in HIV will attract the same dosage, but well, within the specified period of time, that is 21 days. And in addition to that, please add clindamycin. As anti relapse agent, after treating malaria with other active agents, particularly intravenous agents, for example, a tisonate, then grab your primaquine. And what do you want to get? You want to clear the system of the hepatic stage, or clear the gallbladder also, of the, of the skies on there. You can then use primaquine for that purpose, uh, 30 mg once daily for 14 days. If you are in the endemic zone, Relocating to Western world, it will be wise that though you are asymptomatic, you should you now get some primaquine 
to clear the hepatic stage because you will be asymptomatic and you've boarded the flight already landing in the western world though you are not beaten by female and no fellows mosquito but the hepatic stage will grow multiply it, and be you know pushing into the circulatory system attacking the red blood cell then becoming erythrocytic stage giving signs of symptoms of malaria so you can have malaria while you are in US, UK, you know, Germany, France, or Russia, though you've been treated before boarding the flight six months or one year ago, if you don't clear the hepatic stage. In malaria treatment for plasmodium vivas or plasmodium nova, you can give primaquine 30 mg per hour once daily for 14 days. You must use other agents to handle the erythrocytic stage forms. In obese individual, please weigh the person, and if he or she is you now greater than 70 kg, then you have to grab your calculator and give 6 mg per kilogram as total dose. Then you will use 30 mg once daily after calculating the total dose until the total dose is finished. Some will be saying this is confusing. Please don't be confused. Here is an example. My patient is 90 kilogram man. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use 6 milligram per kilogram to calculate the total dose. So 6 times 90 is 540 milligram. But remember, I will not give more than 30 milligram once daily. So I'm going to go ahead to give 30 milligram once daily. And before I will finish 540 milligram with 30 milligram once daily, that will take me about 18 days to complete it. In GCSPD deficiency, Prima Queen is contraindicated. However, if the individual is just having intermediate GSPD deficiency activity, you can use primaquine, but not at the regular dosage or frequency. For example, you can choose 45 mg per hour every week times 8 weeks instead of 30 mg once daily. In pediatric age group, you have to use this medication with other medications like the cases in adults. But in any child with gross GCSPD deficiency, don't use primaquine. And once you've cleared all this and you want to give primaquine, you can give a 0.5 milligram per kilogram per dose once daily for 14 days. Not above 30 milligram base once daily under any circumstances. If the child is greater than 70 kg, just as I've done when I got a man that was 90 kg, please just go back to that by using 6 milligram per kilogram to calculate the total dose. And you give nothing more than 30 milligram once daily till the total dose is completed. Please, you can rewind and check that example again. Still in pediatric age group, if the case is mild glucosis phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, you may use it, but cautiously, please. And in that case, the dose could be 0 0.75 milligram base per kilogram per dose. And you give that once weekly for eight weeks, please. Don't go above 45 milligram once weekly. Still in pediatric age group, if the child is not living in endemic zone, a single dose in children at 0 0.25 milligram per kilogram per dose will reduce transmission. You can give Rimaquin with another good agent concomitantly to clear both erythrocytic and pre-erythrocytic stages of the plasmodium. Since Rimaquin will be only one dose, there is no need to test for GSPD deficiency. A 
in children exposed to HIV, if the condition is mild to moderate disease as per HIV, and the child is greater than six months, you can give per aura at 0 0.3 milligram per kilogram per dose, but nothing greater than 30 milligram. And you can give that for 21 days with clindamycin. Adolescents can receive just exactly what adults would take. Adverse reactions. Prolonged QT can degenerate to tosal the point. That can degenerate to ventricular tachycardia monomorphic, then to polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, down to ventricular fibrillation, asystole, and end of pneumonia. So, primaquinco kill. Arrhythmia, like I've just explained, dizziness, pruritus, abdominal cramps, skin rash, nausea and vomiting, epigastric distress. Still on adverse reactions, there may be anemia or leukopenia or methemoglobinemia, particularly in NADH methemoglobin reductase deficiency. NADH is simply nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide hydride. Also, there might be problem in individuals with GCSPD deficiency because it can come down with hemolysis or hemolytic anemia. Contraindications. That is when and where we can now use primaquin. Absensitivity to primaquin or its component formulation. We can now use it there. Or when there's absensitivity to tavenoquin or any of the eight aminoquinoline. Anyone with confirmed gross GCSPD deficiency or pregnant women, no Prima Queen. Still on contraindications, we can now use this medication and quinacrine at the same time. Medications that can cause hemolysis should be taken off the table. Also, other medications that could suppress bone marrow should not be used at the same time with Prima Queen. Granulocytopenia may occur in very ill patients particularly with systemic lupus erythematosis or rheumatoid arthritis. One, remember the prolonged QT and the possible cascade of events from total points to ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, asystole, and death. Remember, hemolysis is very possible in individuals with GSPD deficiency. We have to rule out methylcobinemia in NADH deficiency and also bone marrow suppression and leukopenia must be watched and anyone on this medication for a long time should be investigated for board. Still on warnings, we have to check for signs of hemolytic anemia. What is the complete blood count giving us? How about the hematocrit or hemoglobin concentration? What is the value of reticulocytes that is likely going to be high now? How about autoglobin that may be down or bilirubin that may be raised? Still on warnings. We must rule out GCSPD deficiency if it is gross, we don't give this medication. In any woman, of childbearing age, we must know the pregnancy status by not only taking the history, having beta chronic gonadotrophin assay. We have to give the above individual contraception until the return of menses after treatment or prophylaxis with primaquine. Many, any woman of childbearing age, if the Beta human chronic gonadotrophin comes out to be negative, meaning she's not pregnant, then we have to prescribe contraception because we don't want her to be pregnant while on this medication until the return of menses after treatment or prophylaxis. Men 
with wives that could be pregnant must use condoms till three months after the use of Prima Queen. Please take note of that. And also in breastfeeding mothers, no Prima Queen. Drug drug interaction. No single tree could make a forest. So the pharmacist will be helpful here and clinical pharmacologist. I don't know the entire list of medications you can be placed upon now or in future. So I will you now say that you discuss with your physician and the physician can also seek you know, the services of pharmacists in their jurisdiction. Morning train. You have to know the complete blood counts. We want to be sure we're not dealing with anemia already. So what is the mantle What is the hemoglobin concentration? We want to know about the level of pregnancy or pregnancy status. So beta one chronic gonadotrophin for every woman or childbearing age. And once the woman is not pregnant, established by beta one chronic gonadotrophin level, then We'll prescribe uh, contraception right now. Okay, EKG, because of the probability of running to prolong QT with a fatal arrhythmia that may fall. This is pretty screening, is pretty uh, necessary because gross GCPD deficiency means we cannot use this medication. After global level will give us clue if we are dealing with hemolysis or not. Still on monitoring, bilirubin level will rise if there's hemolysis. And glucose level will give us whether we're dealing with hypoglycemia or not. And of course, electrolyte imbalance and urinalysis will give us clue as per the glucose, as per the electrolyte and methemoglobinuria. With that, I've come to the end of this very presentation. Prima Queen is a very good drug to help us eradicate a hepatic stage of the plasmodium. But there are certain features that we must be careful you know, to put in order before we prescribe this medication. It's also useful in HIV positive patients, but we must guard against all possible contraindications and also monitor why these people will be on this medication for that number of days 14 or 21 days thanks for listening remember to share this remember to subscribe to my channel and remember to check my channel for other useful anti-malaria agents i appreciate it